Hey guys, Terra Arts Movie here with another exciting tutorial and uh, I'm sorry it's been a month um, after my recent tutorial because um, I have been really really busy but hey, today I'm gonna be answering your question so the question I'm gonna be answering is um, how you create your own preset since on my um, well a long time ago I, I made this um, tutorial for uh, like actually I'm, I'm sharing I I share my um, cinematic looks preset to you guys but I upload it to megaupload.com and you know you, you all of you know what happened to um, megaupload.com so um, instead I um, create and giving you uh, the cinematic looks presets today I'm just gonna be teaching you how to, how to create one yourselves and uh, this is basically a tutorial on how to create a preset so you can create anything I, I mean uh, any effects and create a preset out of it and uh, not just cinematic looks so yeah let's just get started so you will understand what I'm talking about here so fired up after effects the first tutorial is gonna be for after effects so in after effects all you gotta do first is uh, put your video on the composition or to down here create a new composition and it'll be like this and then um, preset is basically like this so on the right side over here effects and presets as you can see here uh, you can go click this triangle thing here animation presets and it will uh, it will show you to uh, this two thingy presets and user presets and open up the user presets and there you go this is my presets click and drag it boom look at that this is my cinematic looks presets by the way so this is um before and after boom yeah looks beautiful and how how to do that how how, how you create uh, this kind of preset so today I'm gonna be teaching you uh, just how to do it so uh, first of all um, basically what what is preset preset is um, some kind of uh, let's put it like this so um, let's say on this clip I want to um, basically add some add some uh, 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 effects on it so let's say color correction effects so layer new I'm gonna just create adjustment layer here new adjustment layer so I'm gonna put my effects on this adjustment layer like in Photoshop if you a Photoshop user and give some effects like um, on After Effects uh, CS5 and above I believe there is a thing called is a color Venus so I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna choose that for color correction and color grading so full interface and let's say do, 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 do. Just, you know, all right so sorry got this graphics here so you can um, let's say punch the brightness Ooh, not too much As you can see here the white area is already kind of blown up and the contrast area like so and you get the contrast center so you will keep your image not too blown up and not too dark so you can see the graphic here and then maybe give some saturation up a bit and also the vibrance Ooh, a little bit too much a little bit too much for example just that and maybe the gamma up a little bit well it's just for example anyway so click OK so um, this is the before this is after color corrected as you can see here this is shot on a flat profile on my Canon 5D Mark II and this is basically just flat profile no color no contrast and etc and then boom I just get I just give it some color and etc and et that, that is color corrected and that is a color correction so um, well this is your effect right that you already added to your video but what if you uh, you have uh, another like another clip right here for example and then you want uh, you want to give this another clip exactly the same effect as this clip right here so instead you just go to you know effect and uh, as a color finance and do all of the things over and over again you can just create a preset and then it's gonna save it on the right side over here and then you you're just gonna click and drag it to your clips so to do that all you can do is 
click on the fact as you can see here this is the fact color violence um you can just click and drag it to the little thingy right here as you can see here boom like that and it basically it will it will save to um i believe it's in my documents and Adobe, Adobe After Effects CS6 or whatever After Effects version you have and then user presets and then you're gonna name your preset whatever that is let's say blah 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 that's a good name <laughs> so if you want to share this preset to your friend after that all you're gonna do is go to my documents uh, my documents and Adobe After Effects CS6 and then user presets and you can copy this to your friends so save it boom and then if you open up this again open this open this again animation presets user presets boom you get the blah 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 presets so let's go to another clip and create another layer new adjustment layer and then you're just gonna click and drag it to this clip boom you will get your effects in no freaking time so that is really useful really easy so yeah basically um that's it. <laughs> That's how you create your own preset inside After Effects. Lots of you guys been asking me a lot and it's actually really really easy. So another example, this is a color correction. Uh, another example, uh, let's say not just one effect, we're gonna uh, add a bunch of effects like maybe give it some color grading from uh, Magic Bullet Mojo here. Mojo, boom. And uh, well, this is for example if this is gonna be suck then it's just a sample anyway give it a warm look Ooh, too warm there you go say so it's gonna be like a horror movie or whatever so there you go um all you're gonna do let's say you have like a tons of effect for example like maybe 10 is that it doesn't matter actually so all you're gonna do is just select all of your um, effects like this by click and control and click and if you have um, like more than two let's say color correction and we're gonna just for example here for you let's say you got you got three or maybe uh, more than two and then instead you just control and click control and click control and click um, you just gonna hold shift and click the the bottom effects and then while you're still holding the shift key uh, click the the top effect the most top effect and then boom all of them will be selected and then click and drag it Into the little thing over here, and you can save it whatever you want And then it will appear again on animation presets user presets right here All right, so that's that's how you create your own preset inside after effects so the benefit is uh, like I said before let's say you have some presets like like I'm gonna be showing you my uh, preset here uh, user preset block blaster and drag it as you can see here on the left side it got a lot of <laughs> effect right here now imagine if uh, I got a new clip and uh, let's say for a future project and I want to use this kind of facts and I just going to or oh, I'm just gonna have to uh, do all of this thing here <laughs> so all I did I'm just gonna save this effect uh, shift hold shift and hold uh, and still holding the shift key and click the top effect and then just save it to a preset and next time all you're gonna do is click and boom remember that click and boom <laughs> All right, so that is on After Effects. Next, we are going to learn how to create your own own preset inside Premiere Pro. All right, guys. So here we are inside Premiere Pro. Now I'm using a uh, Premiere Pro CS6 right here, but of course, um, uh, this uh, technique will be available on the recent uh, version of Premiere Pro. The only thing that a Premiere Pro CS6 uh, uh, has that uh, n uh, uh, the reason reason doesn't is the adjustment layer and what is this I'm gonna be explaining it to you later so um, so as you can see he here guys um, this is just a flat provide a flat video here as you see here for my next video and uh, this is the next result boom yeah this is after color correcting and color grading for 
after and I also use a preset for here now um, if you are in Premiere Pro um, and you are using Premiere Pro below Premiere Pro CS6 um, and you got a lot of clip like this as you can see here a lot of clips right here and then um, let's say you're gonna put some correction effect instead you um, you know just click and drag the car correction effect one by one on every single video if you are using Premiere Pro um, before Premiere Pro CS6 all you're gonna do is just control A basically just uh, uh, select all of these clips uh, right click and choose where is it nest boom and it will basically just in After Effects you uh, create you gonna be creating uh, like like a precompose like a precompose in After Effects so basically just create a folder for all of your videos as you can see here it become one thingy here <laughs> one uh, is it will become one well precomposed so um, that way you can uh, put your effect like calculation effect to this nest nested sequence so yeah instead you just gonna uh, put it one by one so I hope you understand I'm sorry for my bad English <laughs> um, English is my second language but I hope you understand that so but if you are using Premiere Pro um, CS6 this is the good news um, there's a thing called adjustment layer just like in After Effects so all you're gonna do is go here new item and then you're gonna find adjustment layer boom and then you will find it on the left side over here and just drag it to the, your composition and there you go adjustment layer Pow! and you can just uh, put your effects on the adjustment layer like color correction and color grading so uh, as you can see here on my adjustment layer there's already there are already some effect here through a color character and a mojo which is this for color correction without mojo as you can see here this is the original ima image original image um, flat profile with three way color with the three way color corrector, it will be like this color corrected and then color grading using mojo. Boom! All right, so um, how to make preset uh, inside Premiere Pro? Uh, it will be really easy. All you're gonna do is this so select all of your um, effect and then right click and then save preset as easy as that and then name it whatever you want blah 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 and description if you want blah blah blah, blah and then click ok and then it will appear on the left side over here on the effects tab presets boom there you go I get lots of presets and by the way this also uh, you can use it for of course not just color correction and basically all of the effects as you can see here I got band voice <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, preset is actually an audio effect so basically preset is for every for for everything so that that's it guys that's how to create um presets inside premiere pro so let's say we're gonna delete this boom as you can see here so the adjustment layer will be empty again and then i'm using my preset here weapon hand origin color correction color correction <laughs> so click and drag it to adjustment layer boom yeah save you a lot of time look at that really beautiful so this is a flat profile this is after color correction this is after color grading look at that I'm gonna make it bigger so you can see flat after color correction after color grading so for color correction tutorial you, get, you can find it on my channel Gen just browse my video there's a lot there's tons of color correction tutorial I <laughs> created for you guys using Premiere Pro and also color grading so why don't you just subscribe to me uh, <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> and uh, just browse my video alright so um, guys that's it I hope you find it useful I hope you understand what I'm talking about here so because sometimes my English is good sometimes my, my English is sucks very bad so I hope you understand and uh, yeah see you on the next videos and tutorials and by the way um, you can ask uh, any question uh, on my uh, YouTube through um, personal message or through comment down below or on our Facebook Terrace movie uh, page so yeah that's that's all I'm gonna say and um, see you on next videos and tutorials ciao